I'm gonna be scrolling through the phones and decoding what he really means. <laughs> All right, so let's go. Uh, Onella is here with me. Welcome to the show, Onella. Uh, I hear that you've got a text that not only has you scratching your head, but pulling your hair out. Set it up for us. So, Steve, about eight months ago, I met this guy at a friend's party. Well, I thought we hit it off, and I don't... It's really confusing, because when I feel like we're actually getting somewhere, he'll kind of, like, pull it back and be like, maybe we're taking it too fast. And I really do like him, but at the same time, I don't want to feel as if I'm wasting my time on foolishness, you know? I have no time for foolishness, but wow. I'm really confused. Okay, all right. Well... Let's take a look at the text. I got them here. So here's what he said. Thinking of you, not sure if I can meet up later, something kind of came up. Okay, and then you replied, well, that sucks. I really wanted to see you. Does tomorrow night work better for you? Then he said, yeah, I've been dying to see you too. Tomorrow works, but I'm only free later, like around 10, 10.30 p.m. To which she replied, that will work. Hopefully, you don't cancel on me again, LOL. And then he says, Onella, I don't think you understand. We are just friends with a little bit on top. Okay, now, here's what he really means. First of all, believe a man when he tells you something, especially if he tells you the truth. Don't ever LOL a serious comment. Don't let a guy off the hook like that. Don't, don't. Because you said, that will work. Hopefully, you don't cancel on me again, LOL. No, you're serious. You can't keep canceling on me. My time is valuable. You're not in control of my time. I am. Yeah. Now, all guys can change. And all guys will change. Right. But there's only one woman we're changing for. This man is not changing for you. It's okay. It's better to find this now than to find this out later. See... Okay. So let me show you how you figure this okay. out for real. Okay. He just told you what it was. Right. You all are just friends with a little bit on top. Yeah. Now, that was kind of a surprise to you. Yeah, it really broke my heart a little bit. I know it did. Yeah. And you got to understand, she said she'd been talking to this guy for eight months. This is the first time. See, dudes are slick now. <laughs> That's why, see, you can get this information way faster than eight months. Okay. The rest of this is just conversation to hold your right. attention. He's been holding your attention. So let me tell you something. Here's what he said. Yeah, I've been dying to see you too. Tomorrow works, but I'm only free later, like around 10, 10, 30. It's always at night. It's always at yeah, night. Yeah, unfortunately. Let me explain something to you. Booty call hour during the week is 10 p.m. <laughs> See... <laughs> booty call hours change. They move up early, because everybody got to go to work, got to go right. to school. <laughs> so booty calls during the week is 10, 10, 30. Was this text during the week? Yeah. <laughs> it was. It was. So all of that was just to hold your attention. Okay. And then when you seem like you wanted more, you said, that will work. Hopefully you don't cancel on me again. LOL. Ha, ha, ha. So he said, oh, she canceling, but she laughing. Well, this be a good time to tell her. I don't think you understand. We just friends with a little bit on top. So don't try to make me think I can't cancel and then come back and get it when I want it. Oh, you hate him now, don't you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, ladies, make these guys earn it. What you have is very, very valuable. Make a guy earn it. Stop being available by text. You're not available for that. Excuse me, I, I, I need to be talked to. And then you'll find out whether he really wants you or not, because if he don't he ain't talking to nobody, he's just been texting and, and making his moves via text, he's gonna stay there. But you should be talked to. Now, if you're thinking, everybody, that this kind of thing uh, happens just to millennials, you're mistaken. 
When we come back, we're going to talk to a woman who says it doesn't matter how old you are, guys are straight up confusing. We'll be right back. This is Samantha, who is 38, and uh, say hello to Samantha. Okay, so set this up for us. You think young ones are bad. The older you get, they're just straightforward and go for it, and basically no mystery, no nothing, and they don't even give a complete sentence. You know, I'm gonna let you set it up pretty much and show you. Okay, just all right, well, let's see the text. Here it is right here. At 9.30 p.m. on a Thursday, he texts you, hey. <laughs> then a few minutes later, he texts you, hey, babe. <laughs> then the next day at 10.24 p.m., he texts you, hey, sexy. <laughs> then a week later, he texts you at 12.20 a.m. and said, hey, you. Then 10 minutes later, he texts, hey, hey, sexy, where'd you disappear to, hon? <laughs> then 15 minutes later, you got this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> First of all, let me applaud you for doing the right thing. If a man at least... <laughs> hey, you, hey, hey, babe, hey, sexy, you have a name. <laughs> You're an adult. You like to be talked to in complete, audible sentences. <laughs> you prefer paragraphs, <laughs> short essays, and pointed statements. Yes. These little one-word texts like you 12. <laughs> Pretty much. So he texted, he texted like he the president. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so th just because you're 38 years old, this is the new way guys act because guys have been allowed to act this way by so many women that those of you that have a higher standard, they're unaware of it because they've been allowed to act subpar for so long with so many women and they've gotten away with it. Let, let me show you this. You're, 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 you're like a front yard. You're loving your body. All this is like having a front yard. If you have a one-foot-high fence around your yard, a lot of people can step over in your yard and just dig it up and step right on out and go on about their business. But if you got a 12-foot-high fence around your yard, it takes some work to come over the fence. Yeah. When a man do get over the fence, he gonna treat that yard a whole lot different because it took him a long time to get over the fence. So, I think you did it the right way. Keep your standards right where they are. Don't let these guys come in with this new way that they're doing it. See, love ain't, ain't swipe right, swipe left. Well, that ain't love, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> that ain't what it is. Now, uh, before the show, uh, we asked the audience members to submit their confusing text. Uh, it's not only women who have a hard time decoding what men are saying. Men... Uh-oh, are equally confused by what women are texting, too. Uh, where's Troy? Hey, Troy. I gotta represent the men out here. You, you, you're saying that girls can be just as confusing as guys. What's the situation? So I started working at a new job. I met a pretty lady who was interested in me. She told me she was, uh, I was the cutest boy. She was rubbing up on me. So I was like, okay. So I took her out on a date. Everything was fine, had a great time, kissed her at the end of the night, and then have not seen her since. Okay, here's a text. Uh, let's see what this text said. You said, hey there, pretty lady, exclamation point. What are you up to today? <laughs> she said, dot, 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 that was weird. Are you hyper? <laughs> Your reply was, damn. One accidental exclamation mark 
and it's weird. She says, yep, and you haven't called me pretty in a while. You say, that's cause every time I try to see you, you make up reasons not to. <laughs> Obviously the impression that you had of her, she didn't share. Or you just being a decent well, guy. I I'm a decent guy, but sh she was sending me very scandalous pictures as well. She was more yeah. interested and I was like, whoa, let's just hang out then. Cool, I got you, but see, some of them playing games too, man. That's what it is, yeah. The only thing with women playing the game is they don't understand the rules to the game. You play this game with us, you ain't gonna win. See, women can't go for test drives. When you go for test drives, you wind up getting drove. <laughs> now, you can do it if you want to, but I'm just telling you how the game works. You haven't talked to her since she kissed her. Well, I've talked to her, I haven't seen her. She won't, she won't give me the time yeah. of day. Now, she could be playing hard to get. That could be it. <laughs> the women say they not, she not playing hard to get. She wants me You're a decent guy, she's using you, she's messing over you. If I were you, and I think I got the consensus of the crowd, I would just stop wasting my time. <laughs> Cause you seem like a gentleman. And there's a woman out there looking for a gentleman such as yourself, and it just ain't her, man. Hey, you made it to the end of this video. I got a lot more that you're gonna enjoy, so just click to watch the next one. And make sure you subscribe to always know what's happening.